welcome to the back of the net match day vlog. It's a huge match day today. Can we do the double over Leicester? I'm joined here in the car by Kerry, by Tiggs, by Ben and Hello. Ethan as well. Right, we'll do some score predictions later on, but yeah, it's been a lovely journey here. Honestly, the roads have been so good. And a quick stop at Watford Gap, star spotted, saw Jeff Mostyn, but now we're off to the pub, standard. Gonna have some lunch, chat to Cherries fans, and hopefully it's gonna be a positive vibe before what is a massive game for the Cherries. Come on, you Reds. There we go, we've arrived, and I spy a public house. Lunch has arrived. Tiggs, I'm not sure if we're at Green King Pub or we're at Wimpy, mate. Look at that! I know, uh, we've got a uh, chicken burger with chips, so yeah. we won't complain. But meanwhile, Ben Phillips has gone for the wings. Have you got enough, Ben? Maybe, maybe. So at least Man United are doing us a favour, beating Everton 1-0 at the moment. Because I hope it stays that way, eh? Tom, Tom, what a beautiful day, eh? Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. On the dark fruits? On the dark fruits, summer, in the in, in the Midlands. What more could you ask for? Oh, well, three points. Are we going to get it today, though? I think so. I'm optimistic. That's good to hear, mate. That's got to be. got to be. Like Leicester, you know, the whole turmoil, Brendan Rodgers, they're, they're, they've won the Premier League in the last five years, and now they're down in the bottom. Can yeah. they take it? Like, I don't know. I'm optimistic. Right, we've got Kieran here. Kieran, mate. Hello, how are, how are you? you? Good, you? Um, good. Uh, so last time I saw you, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put something in your head now that's going to make Bournemouth fans think, hello. Right, I saw you on a very sunny day. We were stood outside a pub. We also saw Jeff Mostyn, because uh, he was in the pub. We saw him in the services, and we won 3-0. And I doubled up that day, and I doubled up again today. So, yeah, uh, exactly, and you were on the Dark Fruits as well. Dark so fruits, same day that day. Is it a 3-0 win today, or maybe a little bit, a bit of a trickier one? No, I think, um, as I said to you off-air, I think um, we've got to be positive today, right? We, we, we travelled in numbers, we sold out. I think as long as we back the boys today, uh, you've got to back us, right? Um, I'm going 2-1. Um, I'd like to see a different lineup, you know, um, but let's see. Um, um, let's go for it. Okay, we're here with Louis. Louis, Leicester City, they are gagging for points, so are we. It's going to be a tough one today, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm very interested to see how we're going to set up because you've got a team who don't have a manager and a team who hardly have a manager. So it's going to be interesting. What's your, um, what's your prediction today, Louis? I'm going to go with. I want to say 1-1, one, one, but I'll go 2-1, two, Ches. 2-1. Two, Neil Dawson's here. How are you, Neil? Are you right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Enjoying the sunshine. Yeah. Um, have you seen us lose at the King Power? No. Nope. You haven't? No, nope, never seen us lose at the King Power. Seen a few draws, one win, uh, and then wins at Filbert Street going yeah. back. So wow. I know I don't look old enough, but I have seen wins at Filbert Street. We have spoken to you a while. So what's your overall feeling of the last sort of month or so under Gary Neil? Because it's been... You know, loss, win, loss, win, loss. Is, is this a, a chance to keep up that trajectory and get a win again or what? Yeah, I mean, I think we were on a quite a good run and we had quite a settled formation. Then he changed it all around for Brighton. I don't know why he did that. Um, today it looks like we've gone a little bit more back to that formation. I mean, Leicester, one point in seven, is it? Seven games? So I really, really are hoping that we'll get at least a draw. But I honestly think we'll nick it today. Hi, Steve. Hello, mate. How are you? Hey, mate. Like This is a late time to get here. Like, how, how was your journey up? Uh, not good. I right. had a car problem this morning, so uh, change of plan, phone the old man quickly. You go to Leicester? Yes, I am. Right, can I jump in with you? We got here eventually. Did you not call like RAC or AA or we anything? We did. We did call the RAC. Three hours we were going to have to wait. It's bank holiday, obviously. I don't know if you're a bit like me, mate. If I ever call the RAC and the AA, 
I'm I'm like standing there clearing the leaves from the top of the like, like bonnet. <laughs> Making your car look really nice. <laughs> yeah, quick Hoover like, out. I, I kind of pretend it's helping. But... It's like when you get someone around, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you know. Quick Hoover up. So, uh, I, I, mate, so I, I thought you were a jack of all trades. I thought you just knew how to fix stuff. I, I opened the bonnet, took one look, and went, I don't know what that is. So, I thought, yeah, luckily my old man was coming, so we jumped in with him today. So we're here and. We're expectant, I think. I think. I think we can get something out of this game. Do you think um, playing without a manager is um, is a good thing? You know, could it maybe forge a siege mentality in the in the Foxes camp? Or? Well, I think the fact that they promoted from within, I don't think we'll see an awful lot of change. I think had they brought in a sort of like specialist guy to keep you up, like a Sean Dice or something like that, I'd be more worried. But I think. This, I can't see this guy doing an awful lot more than Brendan Rodgers. I think Brendan Rodgers is a good manager. I just think they've got injuries and they've got a poor squad. Give me a positive prediction then, mate. I'm going to go for a one-all. That's me being positive today. I just think as long as we don't lose today and we do our business at home rather than away, we can get we can pick up points here and there away. And I think today's one of those. It's two o'clock. Thomas, Thomas Jordanian, how are you? I'm good, mate. You? Yeah, good, thank you. Uh, right, talk to me about the teams, mate. Well, Sanessi is out injured, as we predicted, but it's not Kelly moving inside, it's Mepham straight in. Which I don't mind. Uh, a bit weird that he hasn't been in the squad now he's straight in, but I get it in terms of Zavadi had, had a lot of minutes, so Mepham straight in. And Rothwell comes in because Trail Ray is completely out, obviously, with a knock. And um, yeah, so we see Keeper Moore back on the bench as well, which I like, plan B. Uh, and what about their side? Vardy starts, which I'm not. That, a, that's yeah. what you said, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a bit worried about it. I, just, I, I was chatting to a Leicester fan then in the pub and um, he was saying about Vardy's form might be great, but we both said he's got a decent record against Bournemouth. And I wonder if you're a new manager, you go, I can rely on him a little bit. So I kind of get it. I think it's, I mean, we're seeing Everton get beat the United, so it's a good start of the day. Good start of the day. But I think it's going to be a nervy one, mate. Both teams are desperate not to lose this game. We need three points. Yeah, we do, mate. But I'll tell you what. Oh, by the way, Tom, what yeah. beer are you drinking? Don't, mate. Don't. No, no what are you drinking? Carlin. Carlin? Yeah. What's wrong Steve with that? Steve Fletcher. Yeah, 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 what's wrong oh. with that, mate? No, I like Carlin. That's what I was about to say. There's a um, reason why we're saying that. We'll tell yeah. you in one of the next videos. Yeah, we like Carlin. You changed your tune. Yeah, I love Carlin. Carlin, 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 Carlin. Carlin, Carlin. 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 Prediction time. We're kicking off with Ben this week. Ben, what are you thinking? Oh, one old draw. Mini Hensman, Adam, how are you feeling, mate? Are you all right? Great. Um, how are you feeling about the game? Good. What do you think we can do? Uh, we're going to win, I think. What? Scoreline? 3 uh, 0 Bournemouth. Oh, sorry, what? Say that again. 3 0 Bournemouth. Say that slowly. 3 0 Bournemouth. 3 0. I think we'll nick it today. I do think we'll nick it today. 2-1. How are you feeling about today? Do you think we can get something? Well, I feel like we've had a great drive up. I feel like yeah, we've been I, to a nice pub. I agree. The weather is beautiful. Um, I was thinking that we could win, but I've heard a few negative thoughts. Um, I'm still going to go with, we're going to win. Scoreline? 2-1. Well, Logan's here. Logan, I've got two questions for you. Firstly, how do you grow hair? Because I really want to find out. Because I, I, I need to. Right. Um, what's the score line going to be today, mate? 3-0 Bournemouth. 3-0 Bournemouth! What? Just pick something. Um, Lloyd Kelly's give away a yellow as well because he's Twice. got Madison. Surely. Okay, player showing the card. Uh, yeah, Lloyd Kelly. Lloyd Kelly. Okay. How much do you stand to win and how much do I stand to win? So 25 to 1 currently, and I've just got to put my little sweep yeah. on it. 45 to 1. Let's do it. Yeah. Right, what's he got on him? Has he got a knife? Has he got a gun? <laughs> uh, no. Well, no, he's good. We are going in. So put it in the hole, put it in that hole. Good job. Here we go, we are in. 
They've got the placards up. When they've got the clackers today, we're not sure. Look at the turnout. Some early noise, and we're also right next to their fans as well. Look. but an early call after what 36 minutes Dango is coming off he's had a bit of a poor game but Tavernier the game changer it's been about time and it takes early it's early corner it's an impact come on say that it's it's directly correlated but you know we changed we had an early change I think that's brave bringing Tav on uh, for uh, with Tara and we scored a goal as you know yeah. whether it was related or not I don't know but Billy was looking sharp was able to push further forward very different to the Brighton game do you, hello, 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 hello. Ooh. do you think this has maybe taught Gary Hill finally that Billy is better when he's more advanced yeah he must do I mean, must do. Anyone can see that, right? Yeah. The stats show that. Everything shows it. There's nothing to show that he's better with an average position zone off. Come on, Gary. Love you, Gary. Well, time then. Jamie's here. Jamie, how are you, mate? Um, one nil. That, that goal came out of nowhere, mate. Yeah. I mean, they've been one of the worst teams we've watched. They've been shocking. Their fans are against them. And I think we deserve the lead, but we've just got to hold it now. I think if they don't come out strong next half, we're winning this game. Because their fans have gone. Get in. Have you got your point? Yes, you have. Um, right. I missed the goal. Yep. You missed it. So unlike you. But I ran up to see the celebrations. I'm getting so. bored of saying the same thing every um, week. Um, you, you're on Twitter. What's going on? I've just seen that Dango was substituted apparently due to energy levels of the Ramadan fasting. 
So, do you want to say, you were on the money, baby. You were on the money. Because well, I mean, yeah. obviously that's the fact of them. And I, I, I feel for him because he... Yeah, I feel for him. He's 20, he's raw, he's getting in the right positions, his decision-making one right. But to take him off before our time means there's an issue. It, it, um, it's clear to me that there must be an issue with Tavernier. There must be an issue with Tavernier for him not to play a full game there. Yeah, yeah, it seems that way, but it looks like that's why he's come off. And obviously, we score straight away, but um, Chuff for Billy to get on the end of that yeah. pass. But yeah, Top scorer. Yeah, he is, mate. And he's uh, it's a good job he won't play like he was in the week because he wouldn't have been there. Mate, are you, but, uh, are you, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Surely... Surely, I, surely, 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 Gary O'Neill knows yeah. his best position now. Well, he's further on the pitch. I mean, surely. before that goal, I thought our best player by a mile was Joe Rothwell. Yeah, brilliant. Because really good. He gets the ball and he tr- he looks forward every time. I actually, I know it's gone against the the grain, but for Smith, he was good. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think Rothwell was trying to play, trying to be progressive with his passing. But yeah, it allows Billy to go forward. Poor back pass and he, yeah, brilliant for Miller to be fair to him. But uh, yeah, obviously I feel for Dan Go, but he needed to come off. It was so obvious, wasn't it, that he was not right. But um, mate, I tell you what, stand up. Quite, quite decisive from Gary O'Neill to take off Watara and put Tavernier on. Do you reckon that was a tactical thing or down to injury? I mean, he wasn't having the best of games, was he? It's got to be tactical. It's unlike Gary, and I love him because I mean, we all said Tav should be starting. And Otara wasn't doing the job, so yeah, it's a good move. And the team kind of built, they picked up once it came on. So it was really good. Yeah. Well, we've got Matt here. Matt, how are you, mate? Yeah, you're right. good, thank you. Uh, that was an alright first half, wasn't it? Oh, it's unbelievable. Dango got subbed off, but I can, I, I can sort of see why. Ta- Tavernier came on, completely changed the game down that side. Yeah, everyone seems to sort of you know, pick up their energy levels when Tav came on. And what do you think of Leicester? I, I thought that they haven't really tested Neto, have they? You no, know, not at all. Right at the start of the first half, sort of had a bit worried us a bit. They looked a bit dangerous around the edge of the box, but really, they haven't really tested it, no. I don't want to put you under pressure, but are we going to hold on, Matt? I hope so, honestly, I hope so. Right, we're here with Ryan, and uh, right, just going to put this up front. You've got a soft spot for Bournemouth, but you're actually Paul Vale, aren't you? Yeah, so we've got friends down in Bournemouth. We're massive Vale fans, follow a moment away. So what are you making of the game today, mate? Because it's unbelievable. You always hear that Bournemouth aren't a loud crowd, but we've been up in those stands, it's unbelievable. The atmosphere is great. The game, we're all over it. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I love the fact you said we then. Um, Kieran, how are you feeling about it? Like, uh, do you think Bournemouth can get a result today? Leicester don't know that great, do they? No, all over them. Yeah. Like, like I said, all over them. What's your full time prediction? 3 1. Oh, 3 1. What are you going for? What am I going for? I'll go 2 0. Solanke second half, slot one in, and then we'll finish them off. Love that. What? Like, at some point, we'll make Bournemouth his first club, we're telling you. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs>
see, I'm not worried at all. Tom can't watch here, Tom cannot watch. Nerves are spreading amongst the Bournemouth fan base. Look, the clock ticks on. We're nearly at 90. How many minutes? <laughs> Meanwhile, they blaze it over the bar. What's that? Christensen doing that? Silly manoeuvre. Fans are pouring out. Here comes the board. Here comes the board. What have we got then? There will be a minimum of six. But it's only six, it's only six. Oh, okay. yeah, it's fine. <laughs> oh, my God, man. I think he's worked so, so, so hard, man. Fan cams done. I think Tiggs did a superb job there. Been reading through Twitter a lot of elated cherries fad. Here's the lead table right now. It looks all right, doesn't it? Well happy with that. Hopefully we can carry on the good momentum. I think there's some really good performances there. I'm going to watch match of the day tonight. I'm going to have a think and then I'll get back to you when I'm home with my overall summation because I'm really chuffed. <laughs>food kfc in fern down we're back home we are what a day set. what a day it's been mate it's been a good day hasn't it it's been a good day you know three points you were so negative you were such a negative well, nelly mate, this I, was morning. Feeling, I was feeling really pessimistic i was a positive you, pete if you ask anyone in the county house i was saying oh, you know what i feel really pessimistic but we had some really good performances uh, today. Chris Meppham, yeah. who, who was deemed not good enough for the squad last week, and put in a worldie. Adam Smith, I thought, yeah. brilliant stuff. Ryan Christie, mate. Oh, how hard did he work? Incredible. And you looked at the highlight reel from from Sky Sports, mm. and they were how many? They were all our chances, weren't they? It was were all ball, with apart from two isolated ones. That Madison shot over the bar, and then the one where Meppham was fouled anyway. So it'd probably yeah. been a free kick had it gone on. But I'll tell you what, mate. Um, and Gary O'Neill, I haven't heard the um, the post-match interviews myself, oh, yeah. but apparently on his Sky Sports interview, 
I think Andrew Parkin on Twitter said he nailed it. So it sounds like he's learning, mate. Mm. It sounds like he's learning, but all we want to see is this consistency. Now, it's probably going to be very difficult to do that with Spurs next week, so yeah. it could be another L. However, as long as we see a performance, then play through rapid. Yeah, ch- you know, chopping and changing too much is never going to help us, is it? So you know, it'd be nice if we can keep this team, this style of play. I don't know. Maybe I'm being hopeful. Anyway, a lovely away day with you, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure. Three points on the road. We're doing it all again next week. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Have the chair. Have the chair.